हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस क्लास विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट रेस्ट्रिक्शन फ्रेगमेंट लेंथ पॉलीमॉर्फिज्म यू कैन सी दिस इज अ वेरी शॉर्ट स्लाइड कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ एट स्लाइड्स ओनली एंड द लास्ट स्लाइड बीइंग अ थैंक यू स्लाइड सो इट्स प्रीटी मच वेरी स्मॉल बिकॉज आई हैव फोकस माय डिस्कशन हियर टू एग्जैक्टली वॉट यू नीड टू नो जस्ट बिफोर एग्जाम वॉट यू नीड टू राइट इन एग्जाम इन केस अ शॉर्ट नोट कम्स एंड वॉट एग्जैक्टली यू नीड फॉर वाइवा ऑल राइट सो लेट्स गेट ऑन टू इट the restriction fragment length polymorphism is commonly abbreviated as rflp and it's also known as riflip okay just the short form so riflip means restriction fragment length polymorphism now what's the definition of this phenomena okay so the definition is actually you can represent the definition in this way it's an inherited difference in pattern of restriction map okay difference in pattern of restriction map produced by the digestion of specific restriction endonuclease <laughs> all right is called rflp so again you can note it down if you are having a notebook so that you don't have to watch this video over and over again an inherited difference in the pattern of restriction map produced by the digestion of a specific restriction endonuclease okay this is known as rflp now why this happens this happens because certain dna variations okay in the genome that can create a new restriction site what is restriction site the site where restriction endonuclease enzymes acts okay so either they can change or they can abolish a restriction site okay so this is the basis of rflp so now we know the definition so we should know what are the types of rflp so the two types that you need to mention in exam in your short note or in your viva are number 1 snp and number 2 vntr so the short forms are those the full forms are single nucleotide polymorphism and variable number tandem repeat okay now if you are a pg student you need to know a bit detail about both of them but as a ug student you completely you don't need to know detail of any of them okay just need to know these are the varieties of rflp so snp and vntr so uh, you may be asked okay since you told in the definition certain mutation may are able to change the restriction site so can you give me one example yes at that moment you should always mention the one and only example that you should know is sickle cell anemia so sickle cell anemia you already know the cause you have read the mutation point mutation valine glutamic acid that thing so that mutation leads to uh, ability of uh, identifying the restriction site by the enzyme restriction endonuclease mst2 okay that abolishes the restriction site and that also leads to various problems you all know sickling etc i am not going into the details of sickle cell anemia but you should give that example of sickle cell anemia when you are asked about a mutation that is causing an rflp and the restriction endonuclease being mst2 right so next you may be asked about the procedure of rflp and in the short note you absolutely need to write the highlights of the procedure of rflp so let us see one by one what are the points you just need to mention these points in your answer okay number 1 dna is extracted from the cell it is followed by cleaving of specific cleaving of those dna with the help of specific restriction endonuclease enzymes okay next the dna fragments that are obtained are separated by agarose gel electrophoresis which is then denatured okay you already know urea and other there are various reagents that can denature a dna so they are guanidinium chloride okay so dna that gel is subjected to denaturation then just like southern blotting they are transferred to a nitrocellulose membrane okay this is the exact step that is done in southern blot that is followed by labeling with a radio labeled probe right and ultimately the dna variation is looked upon by the hybridization by autoradiography now see the procedure is same as southern blotting but over here we are actually looking at the various different fragments 
because if restriction enzyme acts differently the fragments that will be produced will be different so this is how just like southern blotting if you know southern blotting if you remember the steps of southern blotting these are same as that of rflp the result will be a bit different than southern blotting okay so next what are the uses of rflp so you can see tracing of chromosomes from parent to offspring okay so mainly these are used in prenatal diagnosis of diseases the diseases which have some medical legal importance and which are important to diagnose prenatally before the child is born so that we can go we can take a decision whether we want to continue with the pregnancy or not so number one diagnosis of sickle cell disease using rflp very important to already know about sickle cell disease and number two indirect prenatal diagnosis of phenylketonuria now i bet you already know about phenylketonuria because we have discussed it extensively in amino acid metabolism chapter if you haven't i can suggest you go back to the video and you can watch it or you can study it on your own apart from that this is the last slide you should know there are certain medico legal uses of this rflp yes the mechanisms are detection of mutation point mutation insertion and deletion but these are also used in paternity test to detect if any disease have been inherited so this rflp study can very well connect a victim to his parents his or her parents okay so they have an um, important forensic and medico legal uses now lastly what are the advantages and disadvantages well the advantage is very simple and accurate process okay no sequence information is needed if you are going for other procedures like dna fragmenting and chromosome walking footprinting those we need sequence information but not for rflp okay so no sequence information is needed so these are the three very important advantage why this rflp process is very 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 famous so simple accurate and no sequence information needed but there's a big but there are disadvantages okay main disadvantages are it needs huge amount of time it is very expensive you need much labor okay expertise and it is very 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 difficult to automate okay we need to perform this thing manually so this was all about rflp i am sure if a short note comes or if it is asked in viva now you are well equipped to give a very good answer and secure a very good mark so feel free to get back to me in the comment section with any query you have regarding rflp and i will see you soon with another video till then bye and take care